on how you all, all those being remembered and, and help for those trying to cope. Karen. That's right. I'm here at Highland Park High School, Rob, and the principal of the school tells me that she wasn't sure that anyone would show up to the school yesterday when the Family Assistance Center opened, offering counseling. But it turns out 300 people came here yesterday looking for that counseling. And today, another steady stream of people, people wanting help, people uh, needing help and wanting to help those and everyone just heartbroken over what happened and among those devastated the family of Eduardo Uvaldo. Eduardo Uvaldo loved sharing fun experiences with his large family. He was um, a loving grandfather, a loving father. The 69-year-old retiree went to the Highland Park 4th of July parade with his wife, two of his daughters, and grandkids. But Uvaldo was shot in the back of the head when alleged mass shooter Robert Cremo opened fire on the crowd. This morning, Uvaldo died from his injuries, becoming the seventh victim of the attack. Everybody's devastated. Uvaldo's wife and grandson also sustained injuries, but they are recovering. Still, his family is struggling with the loss of their patriarch, wondering why someone would do something like this. There's a lot of things that us as parents, we teach our kids. We, whatever we say, the kids listen and pay attention. And, you know, as much as he is guilty, you know, parents have a lot to do with what our kids do. That need to make sense of what happened is bringing hundreds of people to seek counseling at the Family Assistance Center set up by the FBI and Red Cross at Highland Park High School. Nicole Leon says she wanted to help, donating some toys. I saw that they needed, um, that little children were asking for Hot Wheels and we had an entire bucket full of Hot Wheels that we can definitely donate. The school's principal says many of her students were in the parade and shepherded to safety by staff and parents. She says she is overwhelmed by the incredible generosity of the community. No matter what, where you come from, this, this shatters, shakes all of us, particularly if you're a parent, um, your connection with children, it's just, it's surreal. Now, the Family Assistance Center here at Highland Park High School is also where people can come to reclaim any items they left behind when they ran away from the parade route. It will be open until 9 p.m. Friday, but depending on the need from the community, it, the hours may be extended beyond that. Live in Highland Park, Karen Jordan, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you. So much grief, Karen. Thank you.